Well, good morning. Here's part two of my uh, Briggs and Stratton dilemma with a 16 and a half horsepower Briggs single cylinder. I uh, the other day I changed the uh, cooling uh, fan uh, mainly because the uh, the screen had come loose from this uh, cup right here and it had been just laying down there spinning for about two years, but then it seemed to have gotten caught up in there on something and kind of balled up a little bit and broke you know, the original fans over there somewhere, but broke the fan. But I changed it. As soon as I hit the key and turned the engine over, it broke this fan. And so let's examine why. Ever since I've owned this lawnmower, which has been five or six years, I bought it used Facebook Marketplace, 350 bucks. So it's been a pretty been a good machine, especially the engine. And this has been sitting here um, <clears throat> about like it is. Uh, and I haven't had to cover off the engine or anything. And it's a little wobbly right now, but when you, I've got the bolt out of the uh, shroud, when you tighten that up, it presses on this piece here. Now, I'll show you that in a minute up close, and then it doesn't wobble anymore. Right now it's a little wobbly. But put it back together. If you put it back together like that, you're really likely to destroy your fan, and I'll show you. This uh, dipstick uh, tube holder and all, it just has an O-ring down there, and it just pushes into a hole and it's kind of built up right here that's why i said when you put the engine shroud on it presses against that with that bolt going through and it uh, locks it in place now this is over here is where the trouble begins the way this thing is curled and the way it goes in there if you put it up in there and jiggle it and it gets behind here no i'm sorry if it gets on this side here and it pushes in and depending on how much it's pushing in, then this is going to be hitting on those engine fans. Let me see if I can get the camera set up and I'll show you exactly um, how you need to put that shroud on to keep that from happening. Okay, well, here's the uh, engine shroud and this is the way it's uh, molded up here and you can see it's a lot of scrape marks been on and off. You do not want that dipstick riding on the outside of here because if it is, it's going to push it in towards the center of the engine and you're likely to blow out your um, fan. When it goes in there, that uh, this piece right here needs to slide. Uh, let me get my hand up. Oh, I got a screwdriver. Here we go. <clears throat> when you put it, put it in there, this piece right here needs to slide into this cavity right here and I'll be able to show you that and when you lay it down on the engine you want to be sitting on the oil stick side of the engine and you want to drop it in there first and then ease it down and then once that starts uh, going home and once it's captured in there you're good to go and then uh, the next thing you look for is you're putting it in you're seeing that the uh, this part here it's captured here and this uh, shroud here that goes around the uh, cylinder gets pushed up tight keep the airflow up tight against the cylinder all right well let me see if I can get my camera set up and watch step one getting this piece in there once you realize what needs to be done it is completely simple to do once you realize what needs to happen Okay, this is kind of hard to film, but I'm, once you, you, you drop the cover in, you grab it, drop it in place, you see that red part of the cover going in behind that black piece. That is wrong. And if you keep on putting it on, well, you notice that when you put it all together and, and you jiggle it all around, your uh, dipstick uh, thing is not centered in the hole. It will not be centered in the hole. Let me see if I can get it lined up and we'll look at it when it goes on right. All right. And when it goes on right, that uh, orange or red piece is going to go in front of that black piece. And I'll slide on down. And I can't not gonna get it with one hand. And it's going to go into that little piece there. All right. Let me pull it back out. I saw I was struggling, so 
but the um, red piece is going to go there and this side over here you need to hold up on it so that side's a little lower this side's slightly higher and then it'll fall into that little piece of plastic and it'll go in there like butter and um, then the other thing you got to do let me get the camera lined up yeah. here and once that's centered up and that's captured properly then you're just not going to really be able to see that um, but the other piece of the uh, shroud uh, gets captured in here the outsides here and then these go on the inside and then that kind of then when you push it all back up in there it kind of locks in place it's hard to show you this okay so once you got it all jiggled back in place your uh dipstick is going to be about center in the hole it's not going to be all the way over here like it was and um you jiggle it around i'm going to turn the engine once i put all the uh, bolts back in and then this piece here is captured properly and it's not rattling around or loose or anything and uh, this dipstick uh, it'll tighten up once i put the uh, bolt in there let's get the four bolts in and make sure this thing's good to go so i don't break another uh, fan 30 years ago it was quite a bit simpler the uh, oil drain and wit and fill was right there then they extended it up the side of the shroud there's one uh, number eight or eight thirty seconds uh, nut or maybe that's uh, ten thirty seconds but anyway you take that out lean the uh, dipstick tube towards you and just yank it out it goes all inside the shroud it's not like integrated into the shroud a simpler design for a simpler time I realized in part one, I thought I had some uh, some dirt packed down in here in the uh, in the fins up on the head, and uh, I blew it out to clean it with brake cleaner and everything. Then I realized after I broke the second fan and pulled it apart that that's uh, melted uh, plastic down in there. So I'm gonna hit it with a torch and see if I can melt that off of the head. All right, all the all four bolts are back in. This time we're gonna turn the engine over make sure we don't hear anything scraping let's get rid of that yeah I don't hear the fan rubbing on anything that's good so let's put our little dust cover back on and let's call it done let's see if she'll start hopefully it's not gonna tear up another fan and cost me another 30 bucks all right, let's see if we can start this thing up and finish up. So I checked, well, I checked the fan. Everything's turning free. It's not dragging on anything. It's gassed up. Check the oil. The oil's up. Sitting on position number five. Blades are out of gear. We're in neutral. Brake is locked down. The gas is turned on. Got a new air filter in it. All right. Uh, I think I'll just, yeah, I guess I need to choke it. All right, here we go. This is take two. Last week when I tried this, I wiped out a brand new fan. This Hopefully this time uh, it goes better and I'm out there cutting grass in a few minutes.